Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Auckland and welcome to a new reading vlog. Um, so it is currently 4.45 in the morning. I originally had a flight at 6.30 a.m. and it got delayed by three hours and so I'm awake and ready. So I still have like an hour and a half until I need to leave the house. So what I'm going to do in the meantime <laughs> is set up my annotations for like my guide, my annotation guide, I don't know what the word is, I can't think right now, for these books. Today is so exciting because I am going to Minnesota to go meet up with my book besties, Cammie, Hannah, Rachel, Sahar, and Kara, and I am beyond excited. So I will bring you guys along. These are the books that I'm going to be taking with me on the trip. I originally like didn't want to bring two books because I don't know how much reading I'll actually get done. But I mean, I'm not currently reading anything. Like I finished my other read and I need to start something next. And I just, I've been in like the worst slump the past two months. I mean, I've still been reading books, but nothing has been like super duper amazing except for Jermaine fan fiction <laughs> so yeah I just really need to you know read something that sets my soul on fire <laughs> and I know that these books will do that this is a reread for me and I'll be doing the tandem read I already have like the, the tab set up for that this is the annotation supplies I'm gonna bring with me on my trip so I just have like a bunch of tabs and some highlighters here also I know I sound really tired it's because I am <laughs> but yeah so I am definitely overpacking for this trip today's Thursday I'll be there Thursday Friday Saturdays and then Sunday I come back home I'm just really excited so that'll be the beginning of this vlog I'm going to set up my annotation stuff now and show you guys how I do that
Hello, oh my god, I have not updated this vlog in over a week. I just want to update you guys on the trip that I took, what's been going on in my life. Um, I have some stuff to unbox, some reading updates, so let's just get into it. First off, I had the most amazing time with my best friends in Minneapolis. Like, I am a different person. I feel like I, I'm just not the same person that I was before I had that amazing trip with all of them. I love them so much. And then I came back, <laughs> I had such a good time, then I came back and then test positive for COVID. I had a really, really rough week and a half. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now and I'm sounding a lot better. So I wanted to like get ready and talk to you. But yeah, it was just like a week from hell. Um, because I didn't really get to rest, like I had to work and it was just, I mean, I probably could have taken time off work, but it's hard getting sick when you're coming back from vacation because, you know, you're just, I just have a lot of guilt like, oh, I just took that time off and I don't want to leave, you know, people hanging. So anyways, I'm feeling, feeling a lot better, but it was really, really rough last week. Um, <laughs> I'm like... I was just, <laughs> I'm not going to start crying. I was just really sad also because <laughs> I didn't expect to cry whenever I sat down. I don't know why I'm crying. Okay. Um, I mean, I do <laughs> know why, but yeah, I just miss them a lot. Um, I just miss my friends and I wish that we could all live closer together. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm going to stop like tearing up now and I'm going to update you guys on what I've been reading and then we're going to open up all these amazing packages that I have here. Most of them are bookish. First off, I have a really, really important update. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts. Um, this is my reread of Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Although I'm glad that I'm doing this because it's an experience that is for sure and it's not a bad per experience per se, but it's just not something that I think is for me. So let me, let me just explain. Empire of Storms is one of my all time favorite books. I love this book so much. The pacing, 
the characters, the romance, like everything in this book is so good to me, chef's kiss. And so I'm doing the tandem read, which if you're not aware, these two books like are like parallel to each other as far as like timeline goes. And so one of my favorite YouTubers who doesn't really make YouTube videos anymore or booktube videos in general, she introduced me to booktube. Her name is Jenna Cleric. She created this like tandem read and everyone in the recent years has just been like screaming about it, hyping it up, whatever. And so I was like, I have to do this. Like I have to do the tandem read next time I read Throne of Glass. So that's what I'm doing. And I am not, I mean, I probably have like a couple more solid days of like reading before I finish. But I, I just want to say like the reason I'm struggling with this is because it takes me out of the story so much flipping back and forth between the books. I don't want to discourage anyone from doing the tandem read because you know you might end up loving it. But Tower of Dawn is not one of my favorite books. I think it's just like really it's doing something to my reading experience versus like if okay I don't dislike Tower of Dawn. I think it's an amazing book on its own like I think what it, it's a book about healing and for what it gives I think that I would enjoy it so much more if I was reading it like alone versus every time I have to put this book down to pick up Tower of Dawn I get so frustrated and I'm just like oh my god and then <laughs> I'll be in Tower of Dawn and then I'm like okay I'm, I'm getting hooked now and then I have to jump back over to Empire of Storms and I understand like the reasoning like it makes sense the story makes sense and the story itself doesn't change but it's just that which reading experience you prefer. And I can honestly say I prefer just reading them individually. But again, like if you haven't done the tandem read and you want to try it out, definitely try it out. Don't let me like sway you or anything. It's just something that I know it's not, it's not for me because I can just get completely lost in a book. And whenever it says like, oh, switch over to the other book, something I don't know there's something that just doesn't click with me and I just don't enjoy doing that so this reread is definitely an amazing experience and I'm I don't regret doing the tandem read whatsoever because like I wanted to do it so I could say that I did and to know like what everyone's talking about but the next time I read the series I will definitely be reading them individually because again Empire of Storms is so flawless and I think breaking it up Breaking up the story, it just, it doesn't click with me. But again, it makes sense why. Like the timeline and everything makes sense. So I'm not saying the tandem read's wrong. And I just wanted to update you guys on my thoughts on that because I did not expect to have this feeling while I was reading. I've actually considered <laughs> stopping the tandem read and just like finishing this out and then going back and finishing this out. I've considered that, but no, I'm going to finish the tandem read. But yeah, that's my feelings on it so far. Now, whenever I finish the tandem read, I will let you know if I still feel the same way. Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what the series is, it's Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. One, it's my all-time favorite fantasy series and I'm going through a reread. Anyway, I'm rambling about it, but that's my thoughts. And oh, did I mention I had them sign whenever I meant to, went to Minneapolis, I had everyone sign my books. I mean, they all, we all signed each other's books and it was like high school. Okay. Like just amazing. Um, so yeah, these two books are signed now. I, whenever I met Rachel in Austin, I had her sign Era Fire. So it's just like a great thing. If you go to meet your book besties, have them sign your books. 10 out of 10 I recommend because especially if you're one that like really likes to annotate and write in your books and stuff and kind of personalize them. It's just something that it's just like it, it makes me so happy like seeing their handwriting in my books, seeing their messages. It's so sweet and wholesome and I love it. So that's my update on my tandem read and honestly while, while I have COVID, I mean I kind of still have it, while I had it really hard last week, I couldn't really read but I have been reading like in, in pockets of time. Yeah it's just taking fucking forever because I mean it's like whenever you combine these it's like 13 or 1400 yeah it's like 1400 pages so you feel like you're not doing anything you feel like you're not making any progress but you really are. Yeah the series is so good 
and it's solidifying the Empire of Storms is probably my favorite from the series. Whenever I reread Kingdom of Ash, we'll see if that, I don't know. I, I think Empire of Storms is my favorite, but let's get to opening up these packages because some of these are like pink, Pango orders. These are Pango, I think. And then these are Amazon. Um, some of these I haven't purchased. Some of them are gifts, so I'm not really sure. I think two of them are gifts. So let's start opening. I do know what this is. This is an Etsy order. I love the packaging on this. Look at that sticker. Okay, yeah, this is super cute. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so the shop is from Smunny State of Mind and Lila June Co. So it was like a collab. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Even their plastic is like holographic. Do you see this? I I love their packaging. Oh my god. I am so obsessed with this. Okay, it says it's a good day to read a book and it's distressed and it's so cute. Oh my god. I this is this is amazing. This is my entire personality. Like the distress and then the pink with the pop of pink. Are you fucking kidding me? Like I am upset. I'm in love. I'm in love with that shirt. Okay, cool. Don't regret that purchase at all. Okay, then we have this package from Amazon. And okay, it seems like a gift. So I'm gonna pull out the Okay, it says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> oh my god. Who sent this to me? Okay, it's not a book. I don't know what this is. It's, oh! Oh my god. <laughs> god. Someone bought me a fox cutter. Are you serious? And it comes with extra blades. This, this is so funny. Okay, I have gotten comments on my YouTube videos that like m whenever I open up packages, it kind of like makes people anxious because they feel like I'm going to cut myself with the scissors. And that's totally valid. That is totally valid or whatever. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna just add this thing on my wish list. It's a box cutter. And now I can just be like a proper, I don't even know how to open it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. This shit is sharp looking. Okay, so it's purple. It's almost like a fuchsia purple. It's really pretty. So yeah, we're just gonna be box cutter girlies from now on. I love the packaging. I did not expect this. Thank you so much. Whoever sent this to me, seriously, that is hysterical. I'm gonna start using this to open up my packages. Also, you didn't leave your name. I understand if you wanna remain anonymous, but I would love it if you would tell me who you are. Okay, next up is this package, and I don't even need to use a box cutter for this, but like, that is so smooth. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to use the box cutter. I just wanna have an excuse. Okay, this book, I am so excited for. Wow, it's pretty short. This is my, I didn't know you could read a book club pick for August. So I will be vlogging all of my thoughts and all of my reactions for this book in the month of August. My patrons will get an exclusive reading vlog. And I'm so excited, you guys. This is a dark paranormal romance. I am just itching for a good dark romance even if it's not extremely dark if it has like dark themes I just I just want it so I really hope that I love this oh my gosh look at the the chapter titles I love it death's obsession by Avina St. Graves okay then we have this package and I'm just that is this is like butter like it literally opens up the packages so nice okay and this one i think is also a gift it has gift paper in here covid sucks ass but book mail makes everything better i hope you have a quick recovery my queen from sahar oh my god sahar thank you what is this? <gasps> i am 
I'm so excited. I don't know why I just slapped the book like that. I'm so excited for this. Okay. Oh my God. It's giving Barbie. It's giving Barbie. It's giving Barbie. I read the first book last year, last summer, I think. And I was obsessed. Okay. Like when I tell you I had so much fun with the book, it's not, it definitely has its flaws. It's definitely like, you know, a little cliche at times, but oh my God, I had so much fun. And this is the second book, Evermore Academy Spring. Oh my God. This is stunning. I, I love these covers. Oh my god. I'm just, it's just, it's Barbie. Okay. Sahar, thank you so much. This has been on my wish list for literally ages and I had to have so much discipline not buying. just want everything. You just want it all, but you, you just can't, you just can't buy it all. So that is so sweet. Um, yeah, it's COVID definitely sucks and I am feeling better. I literally have waited so long to open up these packages because I just wanted to do it whenever I was feeling like good, you know, because whenever you're sick, it's just like, I don't know. Okay, next up is this Amazon package. And this is another very skinny book. Okay, so Dreams of Truth by Santana Knox. This is actually a little novella, but I, I just wanted the physical copy because I really love Heartless Heathens and I know I haven't read any of her other books but I saw that this book was like I don't know like five or six dollars because it is so small but I was like let me just I just get the copy because it's purple and green and like literally my favorite colors so it's just a dark romance I think but it, it is pretty short it's only like 90 pages so I smell a readathon coming. I love reading short books for readathons. Okay, next up is this box here. And I, this is definitely like a pango order. Oh my gosh, this box cutter is so nice. I don't think I can go back to using scissors after using this. Oh gosh, it's like gonna make a mess. Okay, it's a fairy loot bag, but an owl crate box. That's okay. This is, okay, the Encyclopedia of Fairies. I have this book in hard, soft paperback. I have it in paperback, but I just really wanted this cover because it's pretty. I like it more. So I bought the hardback. And I also heard that this book is Dramini coded. So I'm just like, yep, I can't wait to read it. And we have another Owl Crate box. Oh, this one's heavy. It's a very heavy book, but look at this packaging. Are you kidding me? They included stickers? Oh my God. These are so cute. Is that every sand? Oh my god. Is this, is this to the stars who listen in the dreams that are answered? Every sand? I don't even want to open it. It's so pretty. Like, are you kidding me? I'm, I can't wait. Oh my god. I have to put one of those on my Kindle. This is just so nice. Such nice packaging. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so I have not read this, but I saw this version and I was like, that's stunning. I really want that. And, um,. I had to get it. So yeah, this is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Oh, yes. And I think this is the Owl Crate version. Oh, look at that. This is so pretty. I know the Fairy Loot version is literally going for like hundreds of dollars, but I prefer this one. I think this one's prettier. The purple and the green. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, and look at the, the end pages. It's like a harp, I think. And like, 
that's really pretty. And then here are the stenciled edges. Very pretty. And then a close up on the cover. I, I love this. And then on the back it says, I want your hand to be in mine no matter what comes. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. I don't have any regrets on this purchase. I do hope that I love this book. This is stunning. This is stunning. 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 This is like one of my prettiest books that I own. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, and then we have... I'm getting a little hot. Anyway, we have two more packages. This one is bookish, but it's not a book, if you can tell. Yeah, this box cutter is like really life-changing not gonna lie I should have started using one a long time ago it's just so easy this is an etsy order it's an unhinged purchase oh we have a london to hogwarts card platform nine and three quarters so that'll give you a little hit as to what's in this box Okay, so it had a purple ribbon on it, but it's fallen off. So just like admire the the purple moment here for a second. Okay. How do I open this? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, this is fucking adorable. Okay. So you see this? It says happy birthday, Harry. It's his birthday cake. This is a no bake. Oh my gosh, it's like soft. So I'm gonna have to like take care of this because it could be like easily dented. Um, I wonder what it's made out of. Cause like the whole thing is like foam almost. This is so cute. So it has like a little hook so you can hang it up. And it's just like, um, yeah. And this is Etsy. So I can leave the shop link down below if you are interested. I've got something for you. Afraid I may have sat on it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. Ah. Baked it myself, words and all. But yeah, just really cute. I was like, okay, I need, I need that cake. Thank you. Because... Yeah, this, I didn't, actually, I didn't need it, but. It's not every day your young man turns 11 now, is it? I wanted it. So, now I have the Harry Potter birthday cake. Okay, and then last up here, we have a package from my mother-in-law. She so kindly sent me this. It is an order from Bath and Body Works, and I don't know what it is. So, see what it is oh my god it's soaps yes I love oh my god I literally am obsessed okay the perfect pumpkin so I'm sure that has like a, a cute little pumpkin smell to it and then go goal friend this is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works and it's limited like it they only you they only do it every you know Halloween and it always sells out so fast because it smells so good. Um, I'm obsessed with this. Wow, thank you. And then we have a Moonlit Graveyard. I love, I love. This was really sweet of her. And then we have Vampire Blood. And this one is my favorite, like, of the packaging. Because look at those roses. I mean, we love... We love a rose moment and it has a little bat on it. Are you kidding me? So yeah, thank you so much to uh, my mother-in-law for sending me some soaps. I cannot wait to use these. So that's everything that I have to update you guys on. That's all the packages I have to open. I will keep you posted on my thoughts on the tandem read for Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. I know I haven't updated you in like a week, but I've literally been so sick and haven't been able to vlog. So that will change. Um, the rest of the day today, I have to work and then I also have a passport appointment because I need to get a new passport. So I'll be doing that. Um, today is Wednesday. I'm going to put this, this blade up now. This is a really pretty 
box cutter. So thank you again to whoever sent me this. I just remembered one thing that I wanted to update you on. So I ordered a happy planner the other day. I mean, my friends are becoming planner girlies. Well, we've always been planner girlies, but we're getting back into it. So in school, I used the planner religiously. But then after I started like working corporate, whatever, I just kind of fell out of that. So I bought one, I bought a new one a couple months ago and I just haven't used it. And my theory is that it's because it's too small because I don't have a lot of text. So I don't know, that, that, that's my theory. My theory is that my new happy planner will change my life, that it will fix my life. You better fix my life, you little shit. Yeah, that's how I feel about the happy planner. So it's gonna come in today, I think. Um, and I'll be marking in it and I will unbox it with you guys and I'm just really excited because it's like I got the big one like it's supposed to be like massive so we'll see we'll see if I start planning on things because I really need to do that I need to start planning out content better for Patreon and YouTube and just like my life in general I need to get my shit together because I have a lot of my to-do list and if I just wrote it down I would feel a lot better but I tend to just make the to-do list in my phone, like in the notes, and it's just not as satisfying, okay? Like, whenever, I mean, yeah, it is satisfying to like check something off, but then you just delete it, and then, and then you don't, I don't know, there's no like history of like proof, like I existed a week ago and I completed these things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so uh, yeah, that's supposed to come in the mail today, I'm really excited. Five hours later. Okay guys, I'm back with two more unboxings. We went and applied to get new passports today because we lost our passports uh, like two years ago. And so that was expensive. It was literally $400 and we're not even doing the expedited. Literally so expensive. It took like two hours and then Jake got tickets on the way there. So, well, Okay, complicated story. We left our birth certificates at the house. We, he had to go back and go get them. So on his way back, he got a speeding ticket, but he also got like two, three other tickets. It's going to be f***ing expensive. I'm not looking forward to that, to paying it. <clears throat> um, and then we, we got McDonald's because I was hungry. We hadn't eaten all day. Okay, so I'm going to use my handy dandy little box cutter. Two packages here. This one, I don't know what this is. I know what the other one is. I don't know what this is though. We can just like figure it out together, I guess. Oh, wow. It's literally dog food. It's dog food. Okay, let's open up the interesting package. This one, I am, oh my god, I'm so excited for this package, you guys. Like, oh my god, you don't even know. You don't even know. This box cutter is so sharp. I'm gonna spend all night playing with my planner. I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's massive. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, so I know there's like a bad glare. But I got the Moody Florals. I am a flower girly. What is this, like a plastic thing? I really love florals and flowers and stuff, but not just like happy florals. I like sad looking florals. I mean, these are not like that sad, but like the roses are so pretty. This, are you, are you kidding me? This is stunning. Oh shit. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> roses are my favorite flower. I have a uh, tat. I have roses on my back tattooed. They're just my favorite flower. Anyway, yeah. So I got the Moody Floral, and the brand is Happy Planner, and it's just it's it's freaking massive, like ginormous. So I'm just gonna go through and write stuff that I need to do. I'm gonna actually fill in because this is July through December of next year. So even though it's August, I'm gonna go back and fill in everything, a bunch of stuff for July. Can you see, can you even tell? I don't know. It's kind of bright. But yeah, it's just like big. Okay, this is kind of like what I was needing, I think. We're gonna play around with this and hopefully it fixes my life. I just love this. I love the black and the gold and the hints of green. 
Some of the flowers just like remind me of Germany. Is that like weird? I don't think that's weird. Like this page in particular. Um, yeah. I'm in the business of misery. Let's take it from the top. She's got a body like an hourglass. It's ticking like a clock. It's a matter of time before we all run out. When I thought he was mine, she caught him by the mouth. I waited eight long months. She finally set him free. I told him I couldn't lie. He was the only one for me. Two weeks a week. We meet again. Hello. I want to update you guys on my reading and then I have quite a bit of packages to open. So I finished my tandem read of Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Per usual I cried whenever I read Empire of Storms. Like it just, it, it this, this was only the second time I've read it but I remember crying the first time too. It just hits, it hits me so deeply. I love these characters so much. It's just, it's, it's such an incredible book. I think it's my favorite from the series. I can't wait to read Kingdom of Ash next. I'm just excited to, to read it all over again because it's been, you know, some years since I read it. And Tower of Dawn. So I, I, I really try hard to like, like K-All, but I just don't. The first time I read this, I gave it four stars. On my reread, I just don't love this book. The tandem read kind of... I don't know it didn't really make me love the book anymore actually it made me love it a little bit less because I just love Empire of Storms so much so every time I had to put this down and pick up this book I was just like oh, what the fuck but the like subplot with Nesrin and Sartek makes up for it and makes the book a lot more enjoyable I don't know what my dog is barking at there's literally nothing to bark at anyways 
yeah so this was something else next time I reread this series I think I'm only gonna read like bits and pieces of this and I'm really glad that I annotated just because those will be like the pages that I reread again and I don't see myself ever doing the tandem read again um and like that's fine and like I don't regret doing it it was fun and everything but this book I just want to enjoy this book as it is and it's amazingness okay so what else I have been reading I have been reading a series called the big bad wolf series it is by Charlie Adara or Adhara Charlie Adhara and oh my god this was recommended to me by Destiny a patron in discord and Melody started reading it I was like oh what is the series like I want to start reading it too it's a male male suspense romance or say you like romance but you need a plot this book this series would be perfect for you the first book is suspenseful it's got like a mystery slow burn the banter is so good because there's slow burn there's some steam and then you get the good spice and it is it is it is so good the book was a little bit predictable but i don't care i gave it five stars like i could not put that book down i loved it it's following these two agents who have to like pair up they're like detectives basically in the fbi essentially that's the gist and um and well they end up like you know falling in love so i just finished the wolf at bay yesterday i finished it last night at like one o'clock in the morning also gave that book five stars one thing that this series reminds me of so far is supernatural because each book it doesn't end on a cliffhanger they don't end on cliffhangers so it's like there's this suspense there's this mystery they're they're detectives so it has like this oh and did i mention <laughs> i don't think i mentioned this this is kind of important to the book but one of the guys is a wolf so he's like a wolf shifter he shifts into being a wolf and yeah that's like literally the main point of anyway it's a male male uh, wolf shifter romance oh my god you guys so good so yeah it has like this supernatural vibe because of the wolf factor and it has like the wolf lore like you kind of learn about all that stuff uh, but then like whenever they're doing their investigations it just gives supernatural each episode has like its own plot that's what each of the books are like so far at least now book two it's called the wolf at bay so the wolf at bay starts off with action and spice and then you get into like and no spoilers but i'm just kind of explaining like what you're setting yourself up for so the book too it like it kind of gets a little bit more character driven and then around the 60 page mark is when it pops off and then you've got a mystery and you've got an investigation and they're they're doing the whole thing again i am eating this shit up chapter five of this book book number two the wolf at bay pops off and it gets so good i was just i'm obsessed so yeah like i definitely recommend if you're looking for a male male wolf shifter or more specifically like detectives who have to work together and then fall in love like if you're into that oh my god were these books on my tbr no but i don't care because i've been really slumpy for the past like literally since the beginning of june i just haven't gotten back into my rhythm of reading and just have been kind of slumpy and the only things i've been doing it for me are sarah j mass books dramini fan fiction and then books like this i'm eating it up i'm having a great time that's the wrap up on what i've been reading and let's open up some packages because i am very excited first up is this one i know what this is a sweater now did i need a fucking sweater no i didn't i think it was the week that i had covid someone sent this to me via instagram dm was it jasmine yes it was jasmine so thank you so much jasmine because she was like i saw this and i thought of you and then i was like well i i have i have to buy it like obviously and i remember this was a day i was having like a really bad day so i kind of just like did some but anyway it's really cute it's got draco here it's just like you know very fall themed very slytherin and i got it in a super big size so it's nice and cozy the inside is so soft okay yes i am vibing with this so soft okay next up is this and this is a order from rachel baldwin so she does like these book boxes Okay, so this is the book. 
And I have not read this. This is a special edition. Wow, this is really pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it smells amazing. This is Black Ties and White Lies by Kat Singleton. Yeah, I just, I love the black and the white. It's so pretty. Vax says, why aren't you mine yet? I haven't read this. Let me know if you've read it because I have heard mixed things. Look at that spine. That is really pretty. I've heard mixed things on this book, but I was like, let me just, let me just get the book. This is what the chapter titles, pages look like. So really pretty. So it's got like a little thing signed that I guess you can just like, it's like a sticker. I guess you'd call that like a nameplate. Cool. I'm glad I got that. Well, I mean, I'll read it and then we'll see if I'm glad. <laughs> and then I have this package from my friend Jess. And oh my God, I'm so excited because she wrote a book and she was so kind and messaged me and was like, can I send you my book? And I was like, honored. Absolutely. So that's what this is. I'm so excited. Oh my God. She was like one of my first friends I made on Instagram. Oh, she put a sticker. Shut up. I'm reading. This is so cute. Oh, there's a little note. Oh my God. She mentioned things for being an OG books to friend. And I'm like, literally, yes. This is so pretty. It's called It Takes Three. Look at this. It says advanced reader copy. Oh my God. On the back, it says my heart wants both of them. So it's a reverse here. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. And she signed it. I'm so proud of you. Like that is, that is so cool. Okay. So I think for this one, I think I need my little box cutter. <laughs> so I'm going to go get that. Okay. We're back with our box cutter. I had to go into the other room and get it. I think this is like a Mercari purchase. So I already have this book, but it's called The Lives of Black Lamora. I wanted the paperback because the copy I have, it smells really old. It's got that old book smell, you know, like I love it. Um, but I own a special edition of this and I like this copy because of the green, basically. And I think I'm going to buddy read this with Rachel in September. So yeah, I just wanted to have like a paperback that I didn't have to like worry about getting messed up, I guess. I don't know. And what's funny is I thought this was a classic, but it's not like it's, it was actually published in 2006. Actually, was it 1990? It says 1988. I don't even know. Whatever. No, it says 2007. So yeah, The Lies of Locke Lamora. Let me know. I, I know that this is like a heist book. That's really all I know. It has a heist. Let me know if you've read it, but I love this this edition so much and it was like eight dollars okay and then we have this i don't remember what this is this might be a pre-order actually oh my god i forgot that ordered this do you see this right now oh my goodness oh i'm so excited so i ordered a special edition of my dark romeo because I just had like the best time reading this book. Oh my God, it's, it's hardback. The paperback is just as stunning. Well, I don't, oh my God. Do you see this right now? Holy shit. Oh my God, and then on the back it says, you're my favorite plot twist. That's so cute. I had a really fun time with this book. I didn't take it very seriously. The characters are not like very serious. This is so pretty. Oh, and it's signed. Literally stunning. I know that they're going to have another book in this series. It's written by LJ Shen and Parker S. Huntington. So I don't know if they're, if the second book is also going to be like the dual author thing, but this is so pretty. Um, and then this is the like the little thing that it came in, which is gorgeous. So on the front it says Mr. and Mrs. Costa. You will forever be my perfect dark Romeo. I love it. Anyways, that's it for my unboxings. And I don't know if I'm going to end this vlog here because I don't know how long this vlog is so far. You know what? No, I'm going to finish the Wolf of the Door series. Is that what it's called? 
no, the Big Bad Wolf series. I want to finish that in this vlog. So we're going to continue the vlog. And um, if it's like over an hour long, just sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and let's just hang out and talk about books and open up packages and things that we shouldn't have purchased. So anyway, that's my update for now. And I'll keep you guys posted on the Big Bad Wolf series. It's going so well so far. And I have three more books to read. So... Hello, so I'm here to update you guys on what I've been reading. Um, I ended up finishing the Big Bad Wolf series. I do have some notes on my phone, so if I'm looking down, that's that's what I'm looking at. So Thrown to the Wolves is book three. It involves like a visit to their family. So the love interest is like meeting the family. This one has a lot less plot than the first two books. At least that was something that I like felt like. The first like 80 pages I did I wasn't sure where it was going but I ended up really enjoying this regardless. I gave it four stars and then Wolf in Sheep's Clothing which is book number four. This one they go to like this uh couples retreat for like couples therapy but it's specific to wolves so that made it really interesting. Another part of book three and four that I, I can't really say because it's a spoiler but a major part of the plot you kind of end up finding out. And the reason it's a spoiler and I don't want to say it is because like for both three and four, at the beginning of the book, you don't really know what's going on. So you kind of like find out along with the characters what the plot ends up being, if that makes sense. And I don't know if it's in the synopsis, but I would say just like going blind because you kind of figure out like what is going on. And book four was actually very similar to book three as far as like the plot goes. Book four actually does end on a cliffhanger. So Wolf and Sheep's Clothing ends on a slight cliffhanger that ties back to book three. And then I ended up finishing the series. So I also read book five, which is Cry Wolf. And this one was really fun because it takes place at a zoo. There's like a murder and so it gets really interesting. Overall, I enjoyed the series so much. I gave all the books basically five stars, enjoyed the heck out of them. And I miss these characters so much um, already. And I like literally just finished the last book. The books have so much spice in them but it's not like too much it's like a good balance between plot and spice and they also get really kinky like there's like role playing and all that kind of stuff like i love these characters so much and also the reason i haven't mentioned the name of the characters is because you don't find out the love like the main love interest his actual name you only know his last name park until like uh midway through the first book so i don't want to spoil that because it was kind of fun to like find out what his name is whenever you're reading the first book. It was like a cute reveal. But yeah, I love this series so much. If you like male male suspense romance with like a little bit of mystery, I think that you'll love, you'll eat the series up because that's exactly what this is. You know, wolf shifter romance, that kind of thing. Um, and then I ended up picking up a Germani fanfic because I just needed, I just need to inject them into my veins at this point. And I read Apple Pies and Other Amends and Oh my God, I, the way that I am obsessed, like literally obsessed with this book, it is so freaking good. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. It's just so wholesome. There's not really much plot, but the whole premise is that Hermione, it's like post-war and everyone's traumatized. Everyone has PTSD and Hermione is 
basically baking all these baked goods and delivering them to everyone's door. She calls it reconciliation through baked goods and sweets and healing in the form of chocolate cake. But she officially names it the PTSD pastry tour. And you guys, as someone who loves sweets, this was just, this was everything that I could have wanted, but it wasn't just about baking. It was like Hermione and Draco and like their trauma and like healing each other. I would say definitely don't make this your first Hermione fanfic because I feel like you kind of need to read other fanfics to, to fall in love with them beforehand because this one does, it's not as long as some other fanfics like manacled or remain nameless. Once you're like already established in the Germani fan fiction, you know, world, then you can definitely, I would read Apple Pies and Other Men's. This was so freaking cute. I'm, I'm already in love with them. So it just, I don't know. I gave this five stars. Like this is going to be a new comfort read for me. I just adored it so much. Like I don't have anything negative to say about it. I had so much fun. It was so wholesome, so sweet. I loved their dynamic. I loved their characters. Like they felt very true to character. There were so many good caretaking scenes. It wasn't spicy until the very end, but the tension throughout the book was so good. Also, we have a really annoying Ron in, in this book, which honestly, I love. I love it when Ron, I can just hate on Ron. I don't want to sound like obnoxious saying that, but like in my fanfics, I really like it when Ron is like the one that you get to dislike or whatever, because he was like pretty annoying in this book, but um yeah he can go fuck himself but so many good germany tropes in this book so if you haven't read this and you're a germany fan you have to read this so cute so sweet but yeah that's what i've read and then so that's really everything that i'm going to read in this vlog um i read tower of dawn and perf storms annotated those and then i was just like a kindle whore but this weekend i do plan on reading death's obsession by Avina St. Graves, and this will be a Patreon-only reading vlog. I'm really excited. If you're on my Discord, then you know. But yeah, that's basically everything. And we can close out this vlog and start a new one. So if you made it this far into the video, you can leave some kind of like treat, like a, I don't know if there's a pie emoji or like an ice cream or like a cookie, like leave any kind of sweet treat in the comments below if you made it this to this portion of the video. If you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will also have my Patreon link down below. If you want more content from me, you can check that out. I hope that you're having a great day or night wherever you are, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. You should come through tonight.